folks, is the story of our very own Sudsy Slim. Now, our little town of Scratcher Pass has grown quite a bit since Sudsy's time. And there's even been stories about a treasure of gold that Sudsy had hidden. But to this day, it's never been found. Any questions? Uh, yeah, go right on ahead. Can we still find gold here? Well, unfortunately, the gold ran out in the 1920s. But since then, the townspeople found something that is just as exciting as gold. Can you guess what it is? Diamonds? No, no, not, not diamonds. <laughs> rubies? Uh, yeah, rubies would have been good. Uh, but what the townspeople found was asbestos. Yeah, this entire mountain is covered in it. Check out this cool asbestos rock. <gasps> Here, kid. You can keep that as a souvenir. <laughs> Unfortunately, for reasons that we won't go into, asbestos isn't as sought after these days as we would have hoped. <laughs> and now for even more fun. My friend Wally here will take you on a tour of some of the actual asbestos mines that used to be in production. Now kids, if you're good, I'm sure that Wally will let you use one of his pickaxes so that you can do a little asbestos mining of your own. Is this really safe? Oh yeah, Wally's been doing it his whole life. Please follow me. Give it up, Ripper. There's no way out. Have it your way. But I'm adding another one to my list. <laughs> this one's on you. from the beginning to work on your cardio. Last thing I wanted to do was get toned up and start looking attractive in that place. So now that we're out, what's this big plan of yours? I don't need to keep it a secret anymore. It's simple. We steal a car, we drive to Canada. Done. I like the plan. Great. It's simple. Don't care. What car do you want to take? All right, new plan. We hike until we find the car, 
we steal that car, and we drive to Canada. It's a simple plan. You're the one with the map! Hey. I'm breaking out of prison with my sister's kids. Is there, uh, uh, there's actually roads all over the place. Great, pick one. There's a uh, city close by. It's called uh, Little Rock. A what? Little Rock? It's right here. Yeah, you just take the 30 up to the 430. It takes you right in. Little Rock's in... Little Rock's in Arkansas. We're in Alaska! It doesn't, it doesn't matter. What are we gonna do? I don't need it now. What are we gonna do? We don't need a map. We don't need a map. The guards talk about uh, a little town in the mountains. Simple. We hike to the mountains, we find a car, we steal that car, and we drive to Canada. What's the name of it? Let's, it doesn't matter what the name of it is. We hike to the mountains, we find a car, we steal that car, and we drive to Canada. Simple. Is it Canada that way, Bert? Wait up. Sit that clothesline. Get, get something on. What are you wearing? It's the only thing that fit me. You look like your mother. Thank you, Bert. Hey, get against the wall. There's people, there's people. Get against the wall, get against the wall. There's somebody over there. Hey! It's a dummy. House of our current mayor, and over here we have the Scratcher Pass Jail with U.S. Deputy Marshal James M. Shoup standing guard. We are currently working on getting a grant for a more masculine representation of our marshal here, but um, until that time comes, the mayor has generously donated this from his um, private collection. It was actually right here on this very street that the famous gun battle took place. Sudsy, along with two of his gang members, were mortally wounded. Of course, back in Sudsy's day, Scratcher Pass wasn't quite as large. There were fewer buildings and there was just a muddy road. Do we have any questions? Uh, yes, you in the purple blouse, uh, shirt. Thank you. 
I was just wondering, uh, this sudsy guy, instead of getting into a gunfight and dying, wanted to drive to, say, Canada. Which direction would he go? Interesting. Never been asked that before. Um, Smooth. Well, seeing as how Scratcher Pass was and still is off the road system, and there were no cars around here in the early 1900s, I'd say Sudsy would have to travel the 50 plus miles by foot, horse, or dog sled that direction to the nearest town, Gangrene Gulch. And then from there, it's another 200 miles to Canada. But of course, today he would just hop on a plane and fly out. <laughs> Any other questions? No? All right, well, let me just take this opportunity to say thank you so much for being part of the Sudsy Slim experience. May I remind you that our gift shop is open until six and we are having a two for one special of Sudsy Slim lip balm and asbestos oven mitts. So check it out. What are we gonna do, Bert? Shut up and follow me. Hey, look, I'm Sutsy Slim. Beat it, kid! Or you end up on the side of a milk carton. I don't like people touching me. <laughs> oh no. Well, Gladys, that's the last tour of the day. I'm gonna go upstairs and change and then head to the slippery nickel and get something to eat. Sounds good, sweetheart. I might see you there later. After I close up me and Hobart, gonna go meet Snake Eyes and toss back a couple boiler makers. All right, <laughs> see you there. Oh, hey. Real quick, one last question. How often do those planes come in and out of town here? Uh, every four days. Right. Didn't they tell you guys that when you flew in here? Oh, I'm, I'm sure they did. We were just sleeping. Hmm. Mountains. That's it. It's in the quick touch of What? Look. Say cheese. That'll be five dollars, please. Uh, for you fellows, it's uh, on the house today. Have a good one. That's right. You guys missed the first part of the tour featuring Sudsy himself. That thing gives me the willies. He's something, all right. You're right about that. Living, he was the town's worst enemy, but ironically dead, he's the only thing keeping this town alive. His story and his corpse are what bring in the tourists. Without him, we'd be finished. So without this dried up mountain pirate, what, this whole town just pass away like a fart in the wind? <laughs> Pretty much. Classy. Hey, hey, where's his gun? It actually went missing after the gunfight. Kate, can I uh, borrow you for a second? Yeah, excuse me, gentlemen.
All right. Like I said, the plan is simple. We steal Sunzi, we ransom him for some cash, and then we catch the next flight to Canada. Is it me, or does he seem a lot more menacing than he did earlier? He just looks like a bag of that jerky shoved into a cowboy suit. Looks like his eyes follow me wherever I go. Not feeling too sure about this bird. Look, are we doing this or not? We're doing it. Glad we agree. Help me pry this thing off of here. Stand there for. I ain't touching him, he's dead. Grab him. Afraid he's just gonna jump out and eat your brains? <laughs> Ow! I was close. Almost overreacted. There's, there's no wrong thing you could put on a pizza. Well, except a Greek pizza. I'm not a, a Greek fan pizza of anchovies. I just really well, don't like not? the engine. No! I mean, you don't like anchovies? I don't like fish. I don't, I don't, don't like, fish. I don't like seafood. This place needs, this no. place needs a good pizza giant. Oh, that, uh, yeah. It's a absolutely nice thing for us pizza, and I, I mean, I was I'm kind of, I can't find it. Hey, hey, wait, wait a second. I think I left something in the cash register. I'll be right there. Oh, hurry up, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Chicago style or yes. New York style? <sighs> For a hundred year old dead guy, he is not light. You get here to the end of the world and you have no light. You don't even know what it is. You've been spending your time eating all these gophers and stuff. Hey, look at you. I've never had gophers. Now, where are you? What? Oh, man.
Is that normal? I, I, I don't really... For her? Whoa, 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 what is going on out there? Hey, hey, set, this ain't helping. Settle down. Now, what happened? Who? Who assaulted you? Sudsy assaulted me. What? What? I saw him. He ran up the stairs. I think he's trying to escape out the back. He assaulted me. It was terrible. It was the a dead guy assaulted you. He's he behind cars. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stay here with Hobart. I'll go around back and check it out. Honest. Be careful. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Daddy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Shit. What a crock. Right. What are we gonna do? 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 Hold this. Hold this. I got an idea. What are you doing? One on top. And the rope. Son, I am so proud of you for pulling out your own tooth. That's right. Tonight, you get to leave it under your pillow. And while you're sleeping, the tooth fairy is going to come flying through that window and leave you something special. Hide! That was a freebie. What was a freebie? And he left this in my eyeball. Holy zombie apocalypse.
A, B, C, D. Yes, it's really a thing. Mark Huckstiffler, AKN News, on the scene where a, an angry crowd is protesting the tragic shooting of a beloved cat named Mr. Tibbles. The atmosphere is highly charged with tension and the smell of Ben Gay. Police have released video footage of the incident, hoping to calm things down, but if anything, it has only added fuel to the fire. Watch. We can see the ABCD agent pointing his gun at Mr. Tibbles, his owner, and an unidentified man whom I assume is a family friend. Wait, 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 we just got word that the unidentified man might have been a serial killer. So he's either a family friend or a serial killer. <laughs> We've edited out the actual shooting due to its horrifying graphic nature, but we can see the aftermath as the ABCD agent walks over to inspect his victim. That's just something you never quite get used to seeing. Things are getting pretty heated here, as you can hear in the background. You get the sense that with any slight provocation, anything can happen. Oh. <laughs> Grover, Grover. Do I come down to the bingo parlor and throw bricks at you? Hey, man. So, um, seen today's paper? Mr. Tibbles riots enter third day. ABCD agent or heartless kitty assassin? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can you believe this garbage? The press is calling Mr. Tibbles a kitten now. That cat is over 14 years old and lost his tail to diabetes. He was practically dead before I shot him. Aside from grazing him, that stupid cat is very much alive. Look, you caught a serial killer that's been terrorizing the city for weeks. You did what you had to do. There are a lot of grateful people out there. Well, maybe not out there, but out there. It certainly doesn't feel like it. Sit down. I do have some good news for you. The review board came back and declared your shooting of the Ripper as justified. It's my privilege to give you your gun back. That's good. I also have a case for you. Appears to be a missing person. We don't normally handle those. Scratch your pass. You're sending us to scratch your pass. No, I'm sending you to scratch your pass. Agent Grover will hold the fort down here while you're gone. I figured it's a good chance to get you out of town for a little bit. You know, until this Tibbles thing blows over and the cat ladies go home. I don't even know where this place is. It's off the road system, so you'd be flying out. The only info we have is from a voice message left by the town mayor. Details are a bit scarce. Uh, it seems a mudslide took out the phone lines. And there's no cell service up there either. You'll be flying out. I uh, booked you on a charter. Give an hour to get your stuff together and head to the airport. Oh, Sherman, take your time while you're out there to see the sights. Maybe uh, do a little gold panning, fishing. Let's uh, grow some facial hair. A lot of facial hair. Absolutely beautiful out here. I bet you never get tired of the scenery. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, I can fly this. Uh, no, I can't. I, I can't fly this. D don't be dead. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Please don't be dead. Be there in 10 minutes. Wow. Look at that scenery. I never get tired of looking at that.
My name's Kate. I uh, wasn't expecting any tourists in today. How was your flight? Uneventful, you know, aside from my pilot being Rip Van Winkle. Hey, Kate. Hey. Here's the mail for Froderick and the newspaper that I promised the mayor. Perfect. Yeah, good to see you again. Good flying with you. I'm Agent Sherman with the uh, Alaska Bureau of Criminal Detection. We got a report of a missing persons. Oh, wonderful. I knew the mayor called for help, but I didn't realize anyone got the message because a mudslide took out our phone lines at about the same time. Here I am. Alaska Bureau of Criminal Detection. Is that really a thing? Yes, it's really a thing that I, I work for. Huh, never heard of it. We're, we're getting a website. So, Kate, could you fill me in on some of the details? Who it is, the circumstances of their disappearance? Well, the who is Sudsy Slim. As far as the circumstances, I think I better let the mayor fill you in on those. Um, town is just two miles up the mountain. Mayor. Oh! Here's your newspaper. Thanks for letting me borrow the four-wheeler. I had to get the mail to Froderick. And guess who I bumped into at the airstrip? This is Agent Sherman. Holy rug! I beg your pardon? Your, your rug, it's, it's got holes in it. It's a hardwood floor. Mayor, this is the gentleman that's going to help us with our little problem. No! Agent Sherman, thank you for coming so quickly. We're terribly worried about our sudsy. Now, some uh, introductions are in order. This is my assistant, Hobart. This is Mr. Snake Eyes. He, uh, he... I, uh, fix things. <laughs> and this is Digger. He's our local undertaker and outhouse engineer. Outhouse engineer. I like digging holes. It don't matter to me what you fill them with. Bodies or turds. Ah. No, 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 please sit, sit, sit. Now, Agent Sherman. Have we met somewhere before? Um, no. No reason we should have met. Oh, but your face is so familiar, I, I just can't seem to put my finger on it. No, just uh, one of those faces, I guess. Can I, can I borrow your newspaper? I love the Sudoku puzzle. Yeah, of course. Help yourself. Thank you. Oh dear, oh, I am so terribly sorry. Can't imagine what's gotten into Higgins. He's usually so well behaved. <laughs> he must know you're a cat person. Well, uh, I do have a history with cats. Um, anyway, uh, Mr. Mayor, could you fill me in on this missing persons case? Uh, Kate said the man's name is Sudsy Slim. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and uh, what makes you think he's actually missing? Did he not show up for work the other day, or what? He did not show up for work, that, that is correct. And is it safe to assume this is unusual behavior for him? Incredibly unusual, he's just always there. Okay. Now, is it possible that there was foul play involved? Now, Agent Sherman, the thing is, Sudsy just seems to have run off into the woods one night. After he assaulted some people. Is Sudsy usually violent? Well, he does have a history of violence, although it's been a while. How long? Oh, about, um, a hundred years? Of course. Sherman! Wait! When's the next plane out of here? Four days. Please, Sherman, just listen to me. We could really use your help. I catch armed robbers, serial killers, really bad people. I don't go chasing after people that have been dead for over a hundred years. It's not gonna work. You see, a mudslide took out our phone lines Phone and... lines, yeah. That's what I heard. What about the cell tower? They were next to the phone lines. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But I had to leave out a few small details to get somebody up here. If we told the whole truth, no one would have believed us. I'm still having a little trouble with the believing part. You know, because zombies... Okay. 
At least let me buy you a drink. It's not like you have anywhere to go at the moment. There we go. Cranberry juice for you. Usual for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Kate, you do know that this sudsy thing is pretty ridiculous, right? I mean, there's no way I can help you with this. You know, the man was a real crack weasel when he was alive. I can only imagine what he's like undead, but this town depends on him. When he was alive, Sudsy and his gang used to make quite a living, conning and cheating anyone that came into this town. How'd he end up dying? Eventually, they brought in a deputy marshal to restore law and order, and things came to a head pretty quickly. There was a cool, spaghetti western-style shootout on the main street, leaving Sudsy and a couple of his gang members dead. Uh-huh. This town really needs him. I mean, we all dressed the part to make it fun for the visitors, but at the end of the day, it's Sudsy that they're here to see. Can I get you anything else? Oh, no thank you, Donka. Donka? Oh, it is Gypsy. By day, I am bartender. But by night, I am the all-seeing Donka. Look, I have sign over there. Is your crystal ball a cantaloupe? notice any other lawmen in town. Nope. You're the only one. I mean, she's picked a couple Super Bowls. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn in for the night. Wait, Sherman, before you do, can you just come check out the crime scene? Obviously, the plexiglass goes to Sissy's coffin. Yes. Judging by the nails, I'd say Sudsy's side is facing up. Kate, were these scratches here before? No, they weren't. It looks like... Like he was trying to claw his way out? Yeah, I know. Except the dead guy's not gonna claw his way out and escape. So, is this our suspect? That's him? That's the pervert? Huh. Treat me like some sexy piece of meat. <laughs> Though you can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Yuck. So, uh, you say you're some kind of uh, detective fella? Uh, yeah. Yes, Gladys, this is Agent Sherman. He's a member of the Alaska Bureau of... I'm sorry, what was it again? Uh, Alaska Bureau of Criminal Detection. He's an ABCD agent. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of Sesame Street thing. <laughs> Gladys, can you fill me in on the details of last night? Oh yeah, it was terrifying. See, I work here as a cashier and I came back late last night because I left my vodka in the cash register. Is that what's in your glass right now? <laughs> <laughs> Heavens no, it's way too early for that. This is a martini. Uh, okay. Uh, please, continue. I was standing right here behind the counter. 
And suddenly I felt like I was being watched, and the hairs on the back of my neck started to get all prickly. So I went over to the stairs to investigate, and that's when he jumped at me, and his tongue was all hanging out. I think he was trying to French me. Oh. You know, and I'm not that kind of a girl. <laughs> but not on the first date. <laughs> well, or not the first ten minutes of the first date, at least. <laughs> Well, so I screamed and I fell over backwards. And by the time I opened my eyes, I saw him go flying up the stairs. And that is when I ran out screaming. Okay, so Glass, was Sudsy alone when he assaulted you? He was all alone. And very, uh, lusty. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, he's been in the box for a hundred years. Uh, he's probably ready for a date night. All right, I think that's all we need. Thank you so much for your time, Gladys. Now, where's that tequila? Hello? Welcome to the Scratchers Inn and Post Office. Ah, I didn't see you there. My apologies. I was tending to my crops. What crops? How may I help you today? I'm Agent Sherman. I have a room reservation for here. Agent? Real estate, huh? Uh, no. Alaska Bureau of Criminal Detection. A, B, C, D. That's really a thing? It's really a thing. Do you ever feel kind of stupid when you have to kick in a door and scream, Freeze! A, B, C, D, agent! Do you have my room key? <sighs> room 1102. The annulment suite. What's with the orange thing? That's for if you drop it into the outhouse, you need to retrieve it. Uh, okay, please tell me this is clean. What's clean? Did you say annulment suite? You'll understand when you see it. Okay, could you could you just please show me to my room? Allow me to take your bag.
All right, I backtracked, found his arm. Also, there's a cabin back there. We must have passed it in the dark. We can probably use it as a hideout. I don't like the way he's looking at me. He's also uh, missing some more fingers, but you know, nothing important. It's like keeping together a jigsaw puzzle. Here, give me that tape from the gift. Duct tape from the. I know, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It's fine. I'll just. Do it. Hopefully, this will keep him from losing any more pieces. It just stares at me. Don't you think if he was gonna come alive, he would have done it before now? Like when he was fresh? Yeah, well, what about the mummy? What mummy? You know, the mummy. Thousands of years old, the mummy's curse. He returns from the dead to claim his victims for disturbing his rest. The mummy. You think that happened? That's, that, 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 that's real life? All right. All right. Okay. Look at him. He is against the trees. He's in the grass. He's hanging out with us. Enjoying nature's bounty. I like to believe that if he came to life right now, he'd thank us for taking him camping. Right? No. He's angry. I'm angry! Okay. Exhaustion. Uh, seems to have made you a bit weird. Why don't you, uh, come over and grab your traveling companion, and we'll, uh, we'll go back to that cabin, get some rest, and, uh, and, 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 uh, visit this anew tomorrow. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. This is your wake-up call. And I need to borrow a pair of your socks. Wake-up call? Socks? The door was locked! <laughs> the locks here don't actually work. They serve as more of a decorative function. <laughs> Why? Why are you in here? I have a message from Kate. Both her and Alex are awaiting you at the Slippery Nickel. Also, you're out of toilet paper. And toothpaste. So, how's the food here? Best place to eat in town. What my sister fails to say is that it's one of the only places to eat in town. Gosh, I'd kill for McDonald's. Well, not really kill, figuratively speaking, because that would be illegal, right? Last I checked. Tell me, Alex, uh, what do you like to do for fun? I like to invent things. Look! I made this the other day. I call it a shock bow. Is that a spork? Yeah! I wouldn't. That thing is like a taser on steroids. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I shot my sister in the leg the other day. <laughs> yeah, put a hole in my favorite jeans. Although, I could charge my phone just by holding it for the next couple of hours. You will come. Pardon the interruption. Uh, we were hoping to speak with Agent Sherman for a moment. By all means. Well, we're in a bit of a predicament. You see, our town relies heavily, or should I say solely, on tourism for its survival. And the thing that sets our town apart from other towns is that we have such these, well... Uh, corpse for people to see. Now that Sudsy has disappeared, things have become rather desperate, and so we put our contingency plan into effect, but it didn't work as well as we had hoped. 
Well, I put old man Peterson in Suzy's coffin. What? Uh, don't worry. Peterson's been dead at least three months. Isn't that awesome? Um, Alex, why don't you wait outside? We need to talk to the mayor. Fine. <laughs> yes, good lad. Uh, yes, what, uh... What Digger and Hobart are trying to say is that we put a substitute body in Sudsy's place. You know, for tourists. But as the body had been in the ground for some months, it had become the home of several thousand worms. And when the body began to warm up, it... Uh, he split open. Like a birthday pinata. It's a bit of a PR nightmare. Yeah, and it's highly illegal. Oh, uh, we stuffed him back in his hole. Yeah. It's all good. Plus, we got a whole mess of fishing worms. No, the, the, the reason that I have come is that I am putting together a team of men to track down Sudsy. But I need a person to lead the team, a person of experience. And I would like that person to be you. You want me to form a posse? Well, I, I like to think of it more as a recovery team. I see. Now, you, you, are, you are an experienced lawman. All we need you to do is to find Sudsy and bring him back so we can put him back on display where he belongs. And we'll probably have to kill him again. What Hobart is trying to say is that as Sudsy is already dead, why there's no crime in leaving him in that state, even if you have to shoot him a few times in the process. Your recovery team? is sounding a lot like an assassination team. Oh, and you would have some of the town's top men. You will have some warm bodies to fill out your team. We might be able to get a, a, a real bona fide Indian guide and tracker. Raj could be our tracker. Did somebody order the pork vindaloo? Oh, that would be me. Ah, my friend. Raj here runs the Indian food stand at the end of the road. What do you call that, Raj? Ah, uh, yes, kid curries. Um, and I must say, I am proud to be the farthest north curry stand in the whole U.S. Yes, and he also moonlights as a hiker and trail guide. Yes, yes. I, I heard you mention tracker. We need a tracker. Someone who can find things. I am more of a hiker, not a tracker. Are you kidding me, Raj? Last week, lost my keys, couldn't find them, looked everywhere. You delivered my domalo and found them right away. Salah, that's because I found them in your door. Ah, but you also found my cat Higgins when I told you he was missing a few weeks back. No, no, no. no. He was pooping in the flower pot outside my stand. Right? Okay, so I have found a few things, but I don't think that qualifies me to go tracking down... What is this you're tracking? We're gonna hunt down Sudsy and bring him back. Huh? Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to help you track down a hundred-year-old zombie that goes leaping rooftop to rooftop, poking out random people's eyes? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. You know, in my culture, we put our dead in boats, light them on fire, then send them down the Ganges so we don't have problems like this. That's funny. I never would have figured you for a Viking. I'm out. What? Well, it's a shame about your food stand, Raj. Pardon me? Well, your lease is up at the end of the month. And Duck Kwan has an interest in establishing a Korean food stand. I understand that he makes a kimchi that's to die for. We really need everyone on board here, Raj. Fine. But I'm not going to like this. Excellent. Now, Agent Sherman, will you lead them? I have to admit, I am interested in seeing how this goes, and I don't think it would hurt to do a little poking around. But mostly to ensure that there's no unnecessary assassinating going on. Well, suit yourself as long as we get our Sudsy back. <laughs> Gear up, men! You leave in an hour! All right, do we have everyone? Looks like you're all loaded for bear.
What's this? No gun? I really don't like guns. It's permis. You know, for the bear. More like hiker seasoning. <laughs> hey, I've used this once before and it worked just fine, okay? Using it on a ground squirrel that walked into your food hut two weeks ago doesn't really count. Oh, that's where he got the spicy curry special last <laughs> week. That was good. Mm. Thank you. Is this a flash grenade? It's better than a fly rat. You know what? I don't even want to know where you got it. Just take it off and leave it here. We can't take that with us. Is that the pin? Oh, shit. Sussy, he was crawling at me! He fell off the chair. I swear I saw him move. As he fell, Andrew! Looked like he was reaching for me or something. That's what happens when things fall. They move. <coughs> Have you slept? Oh! <coughs> Back in the chair now. If you have another nightmare, suck your thumb. It is a story on Sudsy and his gang cutting a group of nuns out of their rosary beads and their, their sick romantic wine. And there's a picture. Neat. Huh. Hey. SS. You think it was Sutsy and his gang's right now? I, he just there, he was trying to reach for his gun, right? No, he was reaching for right. He was trying to no, reach his gun. I, That's what he was doing, do you understand? Wrong. He's dead. I've told you before. Cowboy Crib Keeper there ain't moving. The dead don't crawl. The dead don't jump. The dead sit there and be dead. He jumped out. He didn't jump, he fell. Additionally, we don't know where this cabin came from. We can't say this is Sudsy's cabin, or his gang's cabin, or this is even his stuff. It could just be some weird fanboy's make-believe playhouse. You've seen the town. You need a little bit more than an old gun and some bullets in a cabin in Alaska to prove to me that this is Sudsy's cabin. How about these rosary beads? We all seem to be recovering just fine. Aside from Wally, who was kind enough to take the brunt of the blast, he'll be sitting this one out. Yeah, let's, let's hit the road. You're all right, Wally. Walk it off. 
This is going to be a very long day. Well, one lock, one key, right? <laughs> Looks like Sudsy was uh, one of the original preppers here. There we go. Get the bat. There we go. Looks like we have some hundred year old clam pudding. Oh, neat. Huh? So <laughs> cool. know where you're going? Eh. I like to put myself in place of the undead. Hundred-year-old zombie. Fresh from the ground. Really get into his mind. And then, I follow his fingers. What? His fingers. I found these a few miles back at the beginning of the trail. And look, there's another one. You are good at finding things. It's a gift. Check it out. Fingers. Uh, too soon. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? That thing didn't fit. I mean, there's some nice stuff in here. Shame for it to go to waste. Might as well put it on. You, uh... Yeah, let's see what else. Well, put that on. Get this stuff bagged up. This used to be jerky. It's a little dry. What's up, man? Why'd you stop? Hey, man. I'm being. Oh. Ah, yeah. Show's over. Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Uh, I don't feel good. Probably shouldn't eaten that hundred-year-old beef jerky. Uh, where do we put that paper and pen? And I write a ransom note. It's on the windowsill. <clears throat> hey, Bert. Wouldn't it have been easier and save more time if we just left the ransom note at the scene when we first took Sudsy? Shut up, Andrew! This is my first kidnapping, all right? I didn't have all the pieces previously as we do now, all right? Right. Don't you worry about the thinking game. Right. I've got it all. It's also more dramatic this way. Right. He's rocking. You see that, right? 
Yeah, I see it. All right, look. There's five of us and only one of him. Yeah, but he's undead. I need you all to follow my lead. And just don't do anything stupid. Sudzy! Come out with your hands up! We have you surrounded! Get down! Get down! Get Sudzy! Get down! Get him out! Did you see that? Sudzy just jumped out of the chair! He's kicking out the windows! Get out! Take this! Get down! Take the fire! Did you see Sudsy? Head down the trail, we'll meet you in a minute.
Sherman? Is Sherman, wake up! Sherman! <sighs> Kate, what are you doing here? All of your friends from your little play date came back running into town screaming about Sudsy ambushing them and taking you hostage. So, I formed a little search party of my own to come and rescue the damsel in distress. Search party? Well, yeah. Evidently, word has gotten around that my party stinks, so I'm it. Plus, with a bunch of men screaming like little girls and smelling like they soiled themselves, not too many people were too excited to join in on the rescue. I didn't need rescued. I was doing fine. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that taking a nap in the dirt and bleeding from your head was all part of your grand plan to capture Sudsy. My gun. Do you, do you see my gun? No, actually, I don't. After my head got hit, I remember seeing Sudsy run off into the woods. Did, did he take my gun? We can get you another gun in town, but first we gotta get you out of here. Bert, did you notice something odd just before the shooting started at the cabin? What? They yelled Sudsy's name. Like they were talking to him. Yeah, I guess they did, didn't they? Why would they do that? I don't know. Maybe they think Sudsy's alive. That's stupid. Unless... When we took Sunsy, nobody saw us, right? But they saw Sunsy. We know they saw Sunsy. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's weird. That would be weird. Yeah, I caught him crawling at me this morning. No, no. And at the cabin, they had to have seen him through the window. I swear he keeps staring at me. What? I think Sudsy's alive. <sighs> Not alive per se, but... Not all dead. I know exactly how we're gonna finish this ransom note. I need you to stay here with Sudsy. He is our only ticket out of here.
hear that, Higgins? It sounded like it came from outside. Hello? Titus again, Gladys. Sherman! Sherman, are you up? Doors unlocked. Sherman! I'll be fine. A bump on the head isn't gonna kill me in my sleep. The mayor was attacked. By who? Sudsy, apparently. I'll grab my coat. Where's the mine card? Is 
Sudsy okay? So you mean, while I was gone, Sudsy <sighs> offers you a spoon? Yeah, but the way he said it made me feel kind of dirty. And then he proceeds to chase you with a mine cart and knock you off a cliff. Yes. You know, it's occurring to me that you have become a bit more of a liability than you are an asset. I've got half a mind to just leave you here. We could always go back. Go back where? To Moose Hub. To prison? Yeah, it's great. You went stay there. It'll be great. The plan is simple. We sneak into town. We make the drop. If we do this right, nobody even knows we were here. And then we take that money and fly to Canada. You can have gravy for days. They put it on french fries and call it poutine. I can't take much more of this, bird. If you want me to leave you alone and not haunt you for eternity, leave $50,000 cash at the old gold mill this evening. Come alone. So you're saying that when you opened the door, Sudsy whacked you in the face with a shovel, dropped this note, and then just ran away? Uh, not necessarily. I found the note stapled to his forehead when I came to bring him his usual morning order of caribou curry. I told you he was good at finding things. You were laying in the doorway with your robe wide open, naked as a jaybird. Anywho! Where are we going to find $50,000? Plus, we need him for the tourists. He can't just quit and leave. It is customary to give at least two weeks' notice. I have a plan. Should we gather the posse? Yeah, sure, let's gather the posse. The same posse that just left me for dead. Oh yeah, good times, right? the drop zone, but no sudsy. Hello! <laughs> Where's the cash? Oh, I, I, I have it here. We're, we're a little light on the actual cash, but we did make it up with some other things. What's that smell? Oh, those are Roger's fresh cutty rolls. We were light on the ransom, so he threw them in. They're, they're as good as cash. How come he didn't bring them himself? No, oh, he's sitting this one out. Something about pet setting a neighbor's ferret. How much cash is in here exactly? $137.47. Are these coupons? Those would be diggers. He's what you might call an extreme couponer. And that represents a lot of savings there. Whatever. We're just gonna have to make this work. Mayor, take this, go around and leave it by that sign. We'll keep an eye out for Sudsy and if he appears, then we'll make our move. You two, go around that side of the rock. Do you see anything? If I saw something, I would say something. Right. Right. Hey. Air's coming. And he's got the bag. Finally. So far, so good. All right, why don't you go ahead and move around back. Make sure nobody's sneaking up behind us. Keep watch. It is very important. They think he's alive. Come on, Mayor, walk back to us. What's he doing? Why is he just standing there? Is he not supposed to? No, he's supposed to drop the bag so Sudsy can come get it. Well, that would have been a good detail to know before we sent him out there, don't you think?
shoot him? What is he looking at? Do you see anybody? I see nothing. Do you see anything? I don't see anything, Bert. I'm gonna see if I can move this idiot along. Leave the money and walk away. Something's not right. Dang it, I don't have my gun. Anybody have an extra? Here, you can use mine. Laser sight. Oh, here. Let me just uh, turn that down a little bit. Sorry about that. Me. With what? Give me your gun, or I'm punching you in the throat. You don't know where I've been! I'm coming after you! Go! Hurt! Shoot! I'm gonna give you to the counter Dad, just come in inside! What are you? To get your lion? Yella? No good keister off my property! Before I pump your guts full of lead! One! There's a woman over there! How long has it been since you've had a woman? Get her! Leave Two. me in peace! Oh, Seven! Make me up! Ten! You what? Ceasefire! Sorry! My bad. Well, that didn't go well! I know, I was there! Time we show these bumpkins who's in charge, who's boss. We are. We're in charge. Right. Right. And where's Sunsy? What do you mean? He's, he's right. Well, I'm pretty sure one of those guys saw us. So if we're gonna get out of here, we gotta make it quick. Get over here and hold something? Uh-uh. What's the new plan? I can't believe that Sudsy felt he had to steal my four-wheeler. Did you get a good look at him? Not really. 
But I do remember seeing two sudsies. Excuse me? Well, it's probably just the blow to your head had you seen double. I understand that I've been getting hit in the head a lot, but I swear I saw more than one person on that four-wheeler. Now, I think it's possible that sudsies got some outside help. The dirty bunch. Sudsy must have dug up his old gang. The dirty bunch. Two of them died with him in the shootout. Now we're dealing with more zombies. Sudsy's not a zombie. Oh, yeah? Well, if he's not a zombie, then how come he's been running around and knocking you out right and left? All right, all right, all right. Now, Agent Sherman, I'm not saying that I'm completely convinced, but let's say that you are correct and there's more here going on than we originally thought. What's our next move? Well, I, I guess we could wait for them to make contact again. <laughs> When's that going to be? Oh, 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 Are you all right? All right. Lay out the package. Let's go. Wait. What? Do you mean this package? I thought you taped that to the... Give me that. I'll just do it myself. It's just a rock with a note on it. What does the note say? If you want Sudsy back, have the money in an airplane with a pilot for us by noon tomorrow. If you don't comply, you'll never see Sudsy again. To show we're serious, we are including this little gift. So Sudsy really does have hell. What's the gift? The rock? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, can they aim for the same window pane? Got it. Let's go grab that bag of meat. I forgot the attachment on the first rock. What the? It, is that a thumb? I don't see any fingernail. Huh. I wouldn't have thought that Sudsy was Jewish. Oh, I want to thank you all for joining me here. I was running out of windows at my office. All right, how are we going to get a plane out here by noon tomorrow? Not to mention, we showed up a little short on the ransom. Oh, that reminds me, I have to make a fresh batch of Kati rolls. Do you guys realize that this is just a simple corpse snapping, not a zombie? Uh, no. We need to get them out in the open. No more quick glimpses. That way we can figure out who's finally behind this. Okay. How do you suggest we make that happen? We'll get them their play. And I'm gonna need all of you to make this work. Tell us what you want us to do. Well, the airplane's on the runway. So far, so good. Can you see if the pilot's there? Not from this angle. What about the money? It's probably in the plane. I have to get a closer look. Place looks eerily quiet. Did you see anyone? No. I don't. Whoa! Wait a minute. What the? They just left the money sitting in the middle of town. Why didn't they put it next to the plane like you told them in the note? Yeah. The note. You didn't put that in the note, did you? I was rushed. I don't like the looks of this. We gotta go into town to get the money. You got that dynamite you found in the mine? Yeah. It might be a trap. Yeah, but in this case, we have the advantage. How's that? We know it's a trap. Is everybody in position? Cyclops and, uh, Dirt Boy in position. 
Who? Snake Eyes and Digger. I thought you were supposed to have call signs when you're using these things. Kate and Hobart, do you copy? Kate Alicious and the Hobe Man. Copy loud and clear, Agent Sh Sugar Pants. <sighs> no more call names. We're done. Remember, nobody do anything until, until we know what we're dealing with. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Thanks for the vest, by the way. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, it wasn't really my color anyway. Ow, oh, man, hey, it's me! Oh, well, that's painful. What are you doing in here anyway? Well, I thought it would be safer to hang out with the guy with the gun and the fancy training, of course. All right, just be quiet, okay? Although, you are the one zombies do like to hit in the head all the time. Perhaps I didn't think this one through. I should go. See anything? No. Kate, do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. Distraction worked. All right, everybody sit tight. Let's see if something happens. We're getting that money. We're going to Canada. Let's go. Hey, something's happening. You're coming out. Everyone, hold your position. I don't like this bird. Shut up! Hey, your brother's out there. What? Where is he? He's coming around the corner of your building. He's headed straight to the bad guy. Oh, oh, what are you thinking? Spork. Why, you little son of a... Hey! Drop the gun. Go. Drop the gun. No, man. You drop your gun. 
they're not zombies. They're just a couple of desperate looking men with guns. You good? Pick up Sudsy. Hey! Come one step closer and I'm blowing his brains out. You've got to be kidding me. I mean it, man. Sudsy will be history. No pun intended. Look, let's just calm down. You calm down! Just stay calm. Let the hostage go and... and... We can talk about this. I'm getting on that plane. I'm taking Sudsy. I'm going to Canada. You can have him back when I'm done. We got you a plane. Just leave Sudsy and go. I'm not doing anything until I see that plane started up. Drop the gun and we'll figure something out. Greetings, Wally. Hey, how's it going? Oh. <laughs> Seems you've dropped your plane. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not a real plane, Wally. Oh, no. in my stinking eyes! Canada! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Sorry about your cat, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm sure that after years of therapy, we'll both be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Sudsy Slim and his zombie gang. And also his lost treasure. How did that get in there? I think your grandpa Sudsy didn't trust banks and took to keistering his valuables. That would explain historical accounts of how he jangled while he walked, yet never wore spurs. 
Well, come, good people. All is well. Higgins and our sons are both returned to us. Let us away to the slippery nickel for some celebration. <laughs> It's an eye for an eye. It's in the Bible. You can look it up. Thank you. 